Oh, no wonder she wanted the blue and white. The mystery has been solved now. She caved on the blue and white. I was wondering about that. We were gonna get the yellow one. I think I know the answer to the mystery. Hey, that's a nice side-by-side -side you got there. Can I ride with you today? Yeah? Can I be co-pilot? Oh, it's the first day. I just got to unload it. And I rode it from there to there. Myself. I'm so excited right now guys. This is like a life Changing moment It's one of those moments that you just never forget like I don't know man Even if we wreck it today, and it's catches on fire still it'll have been worth it This thing is so fun It's a little different than I thought it was gonna be okay first first impression first five minutes driving the thing the main thing I wasn't really expecting is that the clutch pedal is super lightweight and super easy to push in, which compared to like my diesel trucks, I mean, you don't even feel the clutch there. So that's gonna take some getting used to. It's really lightweight, but um, I thought it would be hard to drive putting the clutch in and, and letting it out when it was not running. And it really isn't. It's really easy to drive actually. And it didn't stall at all. Um, and it didn't jerk at all. It was really smooth, engaging. And shifting, um, I was a little confused with the shifter at first, but when you just picture it, if you've ever ridden a sport shift dirt bike or motorcycle, especially like a, you know, a Raptor 700, which has the reverse, it's really easy to get it into reverse. If you just remember how the Raptor works, it's got this little reverse lever over here. It's kind of above the steering wheel right there, or behind, it's kind of behind the steering wheel there, a little paddle there. And you just put it in first, and then you hold that in, and then you shift into first, like a little bit past first again. You just go up again, and that's it, and then you're in reverse. So it was really easy to put in reverse, uh, backed it off the trailer, and I couldn't help myself. I had to drive it down, rip it around the ramp one time, and then back around that way. I don't know, maybe a couple times. I lost count. It was I was having too much fun. But Twinkles is going to get the first actual true road test with it. We're going to ride from here. This is one staging area. We're out on Iron Mountain Road uh, right now at the Copley staging area. And um, oh, by the way, they have just recently renovated it in it. The parking lot, it's not huge, but it's much bigger than it was before. They pushed that all back. Um, there's no camping on this side. It's just like a little day camp area there with a barbecue pit. But uh, they put way more parking up on top over there. And there's a lot more room. Um, all the way around. It's kind of surprising. It's a beautiful warm day out and it's a Sunday and we're the only ones out here. It's kind of crazy. So it's perfect. Um, I got to take it for a test drive and uh, nobody else was around, which was kind of nice. I get to learn to drive it even though I haven't done anything embarrassing like stall it or run into anything yet. Um, it was kind of nice that there isn't like a million people out here right now all, you know, <laughs> watching it in the way and you know, I just want to take some time and we're going to learn how to drive it, go nice and slow. We're not going to go on the trails. We're going to break it in nice and easy. Uh, take it from this over to the other staging area. It's just basically a road with one little creek crossing. Nice dirt road from here to there and get the feel of it. And um, yeah, so I guess we'll uh, probably switch to the uh, camera footage now and give you guys a, uh, a look.
impressed with the power and performance of this machine. The Yamaha YXZ1000R surpassed all of my expectations for both power, handling, and comfort. I do see some areas that could be improved such as the roll cage, safety harnesses, and seats. We do plan on replacing at a minimum the harnesses and the roll cage and perhaps modifying the seats to fit a standard harness. I think Yamaha hit it right on the head with this machine. The stick shift 5 speed is an absolute blast to drive. Uh, they made it really easy to shift in and out of reverse. They also made it a really smooth riding machine. I can only see the ride getting better as we dial in the suspension. Today we ran the suspension and the tires the exact same way that they came from the factory. We just wanted to get a baseline setting and get kind of a feel of the way that it came from the dealer. And the stock exhaust seems to be limiting and I can't wait to put a, a good aftermarket exhaust and a tune on this thing and see what it can really do when we open it up. So overall, my initial impression, I really love driving the YXZ1000R. It is an absolute blast to drive. No regrets in having purchased one. Just extremely excited to get back out there and ride this thing again. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell icon if you want to be notified of future Trailblogger episodes.